Steve here from Autodesk. At the heart of the DLP projector is a digital micro mirror device. The DMD contains an array of microscopic square shaped mirrors. Typically, these micro mirrors are arranged in a rectangular grid, where the edges of the mirrors are in line with the edge of the frame. But in some DLP projectors, including the one inside the Ember printer, the square mirrors are set at a 45 degree angle, called diamond orientation. In the standard rectangular array, collimated light shines down on the micro mirrors. Looking from the top, this light is directed perpendicular to the hinges on the mirrors. The mirrors can tilt so the reflected light goes through an aperture and is projected. This is the on state for the mirror. Or they can be tilted so the light is reflected onto a heat sink, which absorbs the light. This is the off state of the mirror. The advantage of the diamond orientation of micromirrors is that the illuminating light source can be moved in line to the short edge of the frame. This reduces the cross section of light needed to illuminate the micromirror array, which reduces the size of the optics and makes the entire device more compact. The downside of diamond orientation is that you have to remap the square pixels in your image to the diamond pixels in your projector. The real issue is that it is not a one-to-one -one remapping, and you inevitably blur your image and lose resolution. For projecting videos, this is fine, but it's not great for 3D printing. The good news is that these projectors can also be operated in what's called pattern mode, where the individual micro mirrors can be accessed directly without any resampling. Tiny text, less than one millimeter tall, can be printed much sharper, and fine patterns look smoother, like they ought to. Richard Green of the Ember team created an instructable, linked below, that shows how to use pattern mode to create higher resolution prints on an Ember 3D printer. This article by Carl Bagutag does a great job of explaining the difference and transformation between video and pattern modes in TI DLP projectors. This video shows how to 3D print teeny tiny matrix barcodes, and it works using pattern mode. I'm also working on another video that shows how you can, in some ways, achieve sub-pixel resolution through the use of controlled grayscale. Subscribe if you'd like to see that. Thanks for your time and have a great day.